Good evening, everyone. Good evening, parents. Um, as as Ms. Garcia said, I am Ms. Johnson. I serve as one of the counselors here at Sunset High School. I serve the students whose last name is Guerrero to Mendez. This is my first year in this particular feed of pattern, so I'm excited to be here with you this evening. So I'm just going to briefly go over just a few tips. A lot of these you're familiar with in, in order to prepare your child for the their STAR exams. Uh, you go ahead and go to the next slide for me. Uh, one of the main things I want you to know, and I'm coming from a high school, the high school standpoint, but I'm going to also try to uh, make it very general for our elementary and middle school. So there are five exams. On this particular slide, I did leave off one exam, but it's on the other one, so I will mention it. There are five exams needed for graduation. Uh, ninth graders take biology, star ELC, they're called end of course exams once they get to the high school. So they take biology, they take English one, and they also take algebra one. And that's the one I did leave off this particular slide. Now, some of your students may be enrolled in algebra in middle school. So your, your son or your daughter will take the algebra one high school course in, in the course exam this year. So they will come into high school with already one graduation test completed that they need. Uh, some students may even come in with English one credit if their current middle school is offering that particular course. So just keep that in mind that some of your, uh, then your child will only be responsible in ninth grade for taking the biology. If they come in with English one already completed and successfully passed and the algebra one. 10th grade, they take the English two and 11th grade, they take the US history in the course exam. The STAR exams are administered in the spring of each year. Uh, students in the grades 9 to 12, they do have the opportunity to retest in the summer and December of each year if they're not successful on an exam. Before we go to the next slide, one of the main things, parents, I want you to keep in mind is that the, the important thing in order to prepare your child for the start is just to know that they, they have these exams and maybe which particular exam, exams they are taking each year. The content and the knowledge and skills is the responsibility of the student. So if you go to the next slide for me. So here are just a few preparation uh, tips. Ensure your child attends school daily. It is very, very important that their attendance is spot on in order to, so that they are prepared for the content of the, of the exam. Key preparation takes place in the classroom. So please make sure from uh, kindergarten all the way through 12th grade that you are monitoring their attendance and their performance in the class. Uh, find out if your school is offering additional test preparation. For example, here at Sunset, our social studies department has created a Google Classroom that the students can go in and work on particular objectives to prepare them for their exam. Uh, some schools uh, have after school tutoring or Saturday events that allow the students to get the extra uh, help they may need in order to prepare for those exams. So work with your school to find out what they're offering in order to help prepare your, your, your son or daughter. Uh, ensure that your child also knows your expectation toward his or her performance on the STAR exam. I think our elementary parents do a great job of cheering on their uh, sons and daughters when they know that a test is coming up or some event is taking place that can still happen in high school and middle school i know our middle school and the high school act like they're not concerned but they really are so continue that cheer being that they're they're uh cheering for them and encourage them to do their very best and as ask your child what is his or her plan for success on the star because this is their responsibility in order to to book perform successfully. So ask them, what is their plan? Ask them, do they know which test they have to take and when they're ready to take those exams? Um, next. Next slide for me. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on the other slide is that um, as part of the preparation, the students are uh, just continue to monitor completing their homework assignments, projects, because all of those things are related to preparing the, the uh, your child for their STAR exam. Uh, on this one, some other general uh, information. Ensure your child gets plenty of rest. Uh, that's important throughout the school year, but the night before exam or the weeks leading up to exam is very, very important that your child is well rested and um, in order to come in to give his or her very best. 
uh, ensure that they have a nice, healthy breakfast uh, or ensure that they're eating breakfast here in order to get that stamina, um, the brain food going uh, for the test. Also ensure that your child is in a good frame of mind when he or she gets to school. Um, if they've had a rough night, maybe um, they haven't done something they need to do in the morning, try to uh, help them stay calm and collected so that they are in the right frame of mind when they enter the testing environment. And, and then just co continue to be positive and supportive for them. A lot of students have a lot of anxiety behind testing. So then that positive support on their way to school, when they get here, they're getting a, a lot of positive and support here. And then after the test, asking them how do they feel they did and, and, that, and reassuring, that, reassuring them that you know that they did their very best. Uh, there are, below are two links that I've provided. Uh, I know we probably can't go to them, so I'm just going to talk about the first link will allow allows you to see release tests. So the state of Texas has uh, provides the STAR exam, previous STAR exams that you can go in and actually take a look at those exams. I'm not saying parents for you to go out there and take the exam or anything like that, but you can look at it with your son or your daughter to see the format of the, to see how many questions or things like that. So they have release tests available for you to take a look at. The second link is for you to access your child's scores. Uh, I know oftentimes you will receive those scores from the, from the school, but you can also, each child has a unique access code and you can go to this particular website, the second one, and put in the access code and you can pull up your child's star performance uh, there. So if you go to the next slide for me. So when you go to this, the second link that I was just referring to, you can see your child's rating. So your child is going to be scored based on did they meet the grade level uh, expectations, did they, are, did they approach, meet, or master. That is the scoring for uh, the STAR test. So you see that the STAR begins in grades three through eight. Uh, again, some of our eighth graders are taking high school and of course exams as well. Then the STAR end of course exams are grades 9 through 12. All of the exams are timed exams. One thing I wanted to mention is that, um, and you will work closely with your school, if your son or daughter has a 504 plan or maybe in our special education department, then there are accommodation and modifications that will, can be addressed in order to help ensure that they are, are successful on the exam. So you will work very, very closely with your school, with your campus on ensuring that those things are in place for your son or daughter if needed. Uh, so again, this little chart here just kind of shows you that three through eight, there's reading and math star, fifth and eighth grade, there's a science star and eighth grade, there's, there's also inclusive of a social studies star. And on this slide, it has the five high school end of course exams that, um, that I mentioned earlier, which is the English one, English two, biology, algebra one, and US history. And again, those are called the STAR EOCs. One thing uh, I, I do wanna mention though, if you're looking online at the, um, your child score report to see how they performed on the STAR, uh, it does come in various languages. So you can choose English, uh, Spanish, or you can choose Vietnamese. There are a number of different languages the score, re the score report will uh, show. You can, you can see the questions uh, or, you know, the scale score that your child earned and then, you know, where they needed to be and then where they actually are. Uh, so the, it, it gives a lot of good information. It also gives you questions that you maybe may want to ask your school counselor or questions you may want to ask regarding college because all of, all of this is connected to your child's daily learning. Uh, with that said, so hopefully, uh, uh, just keep in mind that again, the content is the student's responsibility, but parent, you, the, the fact that you will know that your son or daughter has a STAR exam coming up, the timing of when those exams are being administered and just helping them stay prepared by coming to school, doing their homework, uh, being willing to make a plan for success, that will be very helpful in helping your son or daughter be successful on the STAR exam. 
thank you so much for allowing me to present these few uh, tips to you and good luck to you all.